Welcome to you all to Trellick Grange as we gather together to celebrate the birth of Christ with our nine lessons and carols which are brought to you virtually online. But we pray that you will sense the presence of God and the spirit of Christmas as together we worship the Christ our King. Amen. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to celebrate the great festival of Christmas. In this service, we hear and receive the good news of the birth of Christ, and we offer to God our thanksgiving in the joyful singing of carols. Yeah. 
The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath a light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Hi, I'm Izzy Taylor and I'm going to be singing Star Carol by John Rutter. Sing this night for a boy is born in Bethlehem, Christ our Lord in a lonely manger lies. Bring your gifts, come and worship at his cradle, hurry to Bethlehem and see the Son of Man. See his star shining bright in the sky this Christmas night, follow me joyfully. Hurry to Bethlehem and see the son of Mary. Angels bright come from heaven's highest glory. Bear the news with its message of good cheer. Sing rejoice for our king has come to save us. Hurry to Bethlehem and see the son of Mary. See his star shining bright. In the sky this Christmas night Follow me joyfully Hurry to Bethlehem and see the Son of Mary See he lies in his mother's tender keeping Jesus Christ in her loving arms asleep Shepherds walk up to worship and adore him See the son of Mary. Let us all pay our homage at the manger, sing his praise on this joyful Christmas night. Christ is come, bringing promise of salvation. Hurry to Bethlehem and see the son of Mary. See his star shining. In the sky this Christmas night, follow me joyfully. Hurry to Bethlehem and see the Son of Mary. Hurry to Bethlehem and see the Son of Mary. Readings taken from Micah. Chapter 5, verses 2 to 4. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labour bears a son, and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth.
is taken from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How shall this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. I'm Freya, and this is Luke chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, When the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be fulfilment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in, in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers to Abraham and his offspring forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home. Thanks be to God.
I'm Edward and I'm reading Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 7. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea and to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that, that while they were there, uh, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And so and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 16. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause you great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Saviour reigns. Let us our song employ. What fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. Luke chapter 2, verses 22 to 35. And when the time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male should be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him into his arms and praised God, saying, Lord, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, 
which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light of revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people, Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your soul too. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here, until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come now, day, spring, come and cheer, our spirits by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou key of David, come, and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high, and close the path to misery. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. The reading is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again, that I may go and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, 
and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Kings of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Born a king on Bethlehem plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever ceasing, never over us all to reign. Oh, oh star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh, prayer and praising, gladly raising, worship him God on high. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume Breathes a life of gathering gloom Sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying Sealed in a stole cold tomb Oh, star of wonder, star of night Star of royal beauty bright Westward leading, still proceeding Guide us to thy perfect light Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Hallelujah, hallelujah, earth to him replies. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. <laughs> John chapter 1 verses 1 to 14 In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God He was with God in the beginning Through him all things were made Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. <clears throat> he came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or of a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. As we gather together in the name of Christ, we pray for the world he came to save, for the church that it may be enabled in our generation to surrender anew to God's holy wisdom 
and hear the good news of God's love to a needy world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world which is already Christ's, that all its people may recognize their responsibility for its future and may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom, and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all in special need, the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful, and the bereaved, that the peace and light of the Christ child may bring hope and healing to all who sit in darkness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we commend all whom we love or who have asked for our prayers to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father and say together as Christ himself taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the sake of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Lord says, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exultation, sing all ye citizens of heaven above. Oh, come, let us adore.